I'm up here muted, talking. Whew, it's been a heck of a morning, hasn't it? Good grief. Why can't everything just go beautifully? I'm up here snapping, trapping, rapping. Ugh, I don't know what's going on, y'all. I'm frustrated. I'm very, very frustrated. Very, very frustrated. But what's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Welcome to another edition of the Millionaire Morning Show. I am your host, Anton Daniels. Hopefully, everybody tuned in for the show that we did last night. It was very unexpected and very entertaining. Uh, it is Thursday, June 1st, 2021. Or 2021. Thursday, June 1st, 2023, year of our Lord. Uh, and we going to rock. <laughs> we going to rock. Um, let me see what's happening out here in these streets, man. Before we get to the housekeeping. What's up, family? What is up, family? I think I'm just restless. I honestly just think that I'm restless. And I don't think it's physically. Um, I think it's something else. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I think it's just a mental thing. You know, if, if you hit a pothole wrong sometimes and you just be like, what the hell is going on? You know what I'm saying? But it was a great show last night. Hopefully, y'all tuned into the live stream last night. Um, Yeah, man. It was popping. It was popping. But my TV is back working. Uh, We getting it popping. Everything is going absolutely awesome. I can't ask for a better group of people in the audience uh, to get it popping other than you guys. So, welcome to the morning show. Glenn Browner said you had a great show last night. Thank you, Glenn, for tuning in. Uh, I am going to be reading Super Chats throughout the show. Um, weather is good. What more can you ask for? I'm here. We cooking. You know, I, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I think that it's just me being frustrated at the idea that I'm even having to consider or be bothered by the idea of what I was talking to y'all in the beginning of the show yesterday of having to go into the office. It's, I, I don't know if it's a combination of possibly possibly having to go into the office, um, having to make adjustments as far as live streaming versus doing a premiere for that particular week. It's bothering me. It bothers me. I don't know why it bothers me so much because I just like things to go the way that I want it to go. And life is not about what happens to you. It's how you react to it. What, what you about to do? Your book bag is open. I'm looking at your book bag open and you telling me that it's not open. I'm literally looking at your book bag open and you telling me that it's not open. You don't see it on the side? Jesus Christ. I'm looking at her walk out the door. Her book bag is open. I said, your book bag is open. She said, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm looking at the stuff falling out her book bag and she's telling me, no, it's not. Listen, man, I'm just... I'm just being extra. Never mind me. I think I honestly believe if I had to pinpoint it, I couldn't sleep last night. I was bothered the fuck out of my mind at the idea of having to go back into the office. Uh, oh, Jesus. That jabber bothered me. Ooh, wee. We going to figure it out, y'all. We're going to figure it out. Anton is being a diva right now. I'm being very extra. I get like this sometimes. Sometimes I need a Snickers. You know what I'm saying? But I got a whole show lined up for y'all today. Hopefully you are continuing to run the bag up and run the check up. First and foremost, we got a new link inside of the description for y'all to get y'all Teej Pack. If you have not got your Teej Pack, then we are going to give you 50 lashes. In the words of Dr. Umar Johnson. If you do not have your Teej Pack... It is a strong possibility that you're going to get 50 lashes, okay? Cancel that other shit. We don't fuck with the, with the ops. 
All right. So make sure that you get that teach 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Um, okay. Let me go ahead and go left right now. Truth FLA says, wait a couple months ago. Wait, a couple months ago, he was telling us all to go back into the office, and now he doesn't want to go back. It feels a little bit of hypocritical, Anton. Well, apparently, apparently, you didn't tune into the fucking show yesterday for me to add the context as to why it is that I'm telling you that when you should or shouldn't go back into the office. Let me refresh your memory. It's a difference between somebody whose main source of income and the thing that they do on a regular basis as far as trying to move up in corporate America now, look at Trap Weeze. Anton, why are you still working a job? I'm still so confused. Oh, my God. Woosa, <laughs> Woosa, tell me you don't watch the show regularly without telling me you don't watch the show regularly, okay? Let me explain it for the people that's not paying attention and not watching the show regularly, all right? So, here's the thing. For those of you that have a regular everyday job. Let's say you're in corporate America. What I like to explain to people is if you want to move up in corporate America, you have to become more visible because people then do things because they like you, not necessarily just because you're the best at what your job is. And so as you continue to go up the corporate ladder, you have to become a more of a networker. The best way to network, and especially to get a leg up on everybody else, is if you are visible, you are in the office, you are participating. That is the thing that you then need to do more effectively than everybody else in order to be able to get that opportunity that has been eluding you. You need to do drive-bys, have one-on-ones, be visible in person, all of this other type of stuff, okay? Now, for a person like me that is that has like seven, eight streams of income, my main sources of income does not come from my regular job. Now, I make an egregious amount of money. For those of you that have been following me for a long time, I actually quit my job back in 2019 and I retired from corporate America. I focused 100% on business. I got out of the restaurant business, rebought my tickets, and then the pandemic hit, right? So I'm doing really well in business. Everything boomed off and then we're doing great in corporate America. If you are not a part of the Patreon and you want to see how much I make in corporate America as a result of going back because I was recruited by somebody based off of my network and they told me to name my price. They also gave me plenty of options and not having to go into the office, although they alluded to the idea that every once in a while I may have to come into the office if we have foreign customers coming in and I might have to entertain that, okay? I've met all my criteria. I've got all of my bonuses. And so as a result, because it does not affect my business, because it does not affect what it is that I'm doing from a live streaming perspective, because they understand that and I'm not looking to have any more upward mobility because additional upward mobility would then expose me to the idea that I have to become one of the faces of the company, which would then be bad when it comes to content creation, especially considering the things that I say online. So I'm not looking for upward mobility. I'm just getting additional bags because it's an additional source of income. But when I have to take into consideration a possibility of going into the office, that then starts to mess up the flow of what I do on a daily basis as far as running my businesses and live streaming. So for those of you that are looking to have upward mobility and get raises and promotions, you need to become more visible. For people like me that have multiple sources of income and it's just extra, 
I do not want to go into the office because it messes up the flow of what it is that I have going on. So now that you guys are caught up, now you can possibly understand my frustration of having to go into the office if things are not ideal based off of how it is that I run my life on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay? All right. Now that we have all of that out of the way and now that you can possibly understand my frustration, let me get the rest of the housekeeping out of the way. Make sure y'all get that Teach Pack, 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Link is in the description. We don't fuck with the ops, okay? So if you got any other Teach, get rid of that shit and come over here and get this Teach Pack, all right? That's A. B, best day to join the Patreon is the first day of the month. I am not going to tell you over and over again to do the thing that's in your own best interest. The best day to join the bag chasers. I am releasing a exclusive video now. If y'all missed, missed out on the webinars, if you missed out on the mastermind sessions, if you missed out on the most recent videos that I've dropped inside of the Patreon, the recordings are there but you want to get them at the time that I drop it because it is going to be the most pertinent based off of the time frame in which I recorded it because I'm paying attention to the things that the people are saying in the Discord that they want to know about. I'm dropping an exclusive video tomorrow inside of the Patreon. You do not want to miss it. If you do not know the type of content that I put inside of the Patreon, you need to ask your friends and family that are a part of the Patreon because the bags are insane. The insight is crazy and the receipts that I show to back up what it is that I'm showing you and telling you is incredible. All right? So make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Do not miss out on your blessing and an opportunity to connect with a bunch of people that go in the direction that you're going in. Let me also give you a little bit more insight of what we got coming up in the Patreon. We got the Patreon meetup in New York coming soon. Make sure y'all tap in and let me know on that post inside of the Patreon whether or not you're showing up so I can make sure that I accommodate you and we can get a venue or a location that's going to be ideal for everybody because it'd be a vibe. Secondly, I'm doing an invest in your business series where people come and pitch me like Shark Tank. I give you the seed money to start your business. I don't want any part of your business. I don't want anything that comes along with your business. I just love what it is that people put together. And so as a result of being able to help out and really be able to enjoy my people, I want to fund and give you the seed money to get your business started off the ground. So I did it before inside of the Patreon. Those recordings are up. Make sure that you guys join the Patreon so that you can get on the list for the people that want to pitch me because I'm putting together a budget of being able to get. I don't give money away. I invest in people, but I do not need anything in return. I want your businesses to flourish like what I'm doing and what I'm showing you inside of the Patreon. So if you are not a part of the bag chasers, link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Okay.